What is going on YouTube? Tonight, tonight we are going to go do some hardcore redneck stuff. We're going to go bow fishing. If you don't know anything about bow fishing at night, obviously you need some kind of light in order to see the fish. We are going to be doing this from shore. So a boat, generator, floodlights, that's not going to be what we're doing tonight. We're going to be doing this from shore with this super, super bright little rechargeable uh, spotlight. Now, I know you might be thinking, you know, I'm only going to be able to get an hour and a half, two hours of runtime off of this spotlight. That's not enough. That's where this comes in. 12 volt sealed lead acid battery. Uh, this is a seven amp hour battery, which is a lot of juice for that little flashlight, spotlight, whatever you'd like to call it. So really how I get the juice from this into this is really quite simple. A little bit of redneck ingenuity and anybody can do this. This is not anything crazy. So first, alligator clamps. On the end of this is a little uh, cigarette lighter or whatever you want to call it. So all you got to do is attach the alligator clamps to the battery. And after that, once you have the alligator clamps onto the battery, this spotlight comes with a, re a little charger for the inside of your vehicle. Plug that in. And boom, that spotlight is currently charging. So, so what we have, battery, cable, cable runs down through here, connection, charger, charger is plugged into the spotlight and pretty much unlimited, and pretty much an unlimited amount of power. Now, I'm not an electrician. I don't know a whole lot about electric and amp hours, milliamp hours, or any of that. But if my math is correct, this is just a rough estimate, that 12-volt battery should make this spotlight last up to 14 hours in theory. Um, that's not exact or anything, but that's what it should do. So I am going to... Finish charging up the 12 volt battery, put a full charge into the spotlight with the wall charger that came with it, and I will see you guys when it is dark out. Six hours later. That mud's coming out just right. That's it. Sure. Got him. Oh my god, he got him. Nice shot. Nope. That's a small one. Nice shooting, dude. Thanks. Right there. Mm -hmm. Got him. Got him. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Get in here. Whoa, nice. Yeah. Whoa. Dude. Is that your biggest one? No. Nice. Oh, my God. Yeah. Eric pulling out the big boy. He's even holding it. No. Got him. No. Dude, he was like, it looked like he was hurt. I hit him. I know I hit him. I saw it. Did you see him when he... Turn? Yeah, he looked like he was fucked up. Give me right there. Got him. About time. Sorry. Wanted to get him in. How many is that now that I've lost? Three? There's one. Big one. Got him. Gone. 
You're not going through them. I know. You didn't go through them. I didn't pull back all the way either. Is it? Wait. Oh. Got him. Come on. He got off. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. Give me some light. Well, guys, it is now the next day. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching us miss about every single fish in this video. Uh, if if we were actually able to hit fish, uh, it would just be last night would have been unreal. Uh, between me and Craig, we probably shot at over fifty fish. And, you know, even if we would have hit half of those 25 fish, that's a very solid night. Do it from the bank. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, some redneck bow fishing. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And until then, I will see you guys next time. See ya.